Hello everyone, welcome back to Math with Allison. Today we're working in our series series, so we're gonna be talking about a telescoping series. So let's go ahead and dive into it. I don't know how to talk about it without just showing you what it is, so we're just diving straight into problems. So let's take this first example right here. We have the summation from k equals one to infinity. Here we have one over three to the power of k minus one over three to the k plus one. The first thing we're gonna do is take a partial sum. So let's say Sn is equal to, and here we're gonna plug in k is equal to one. We get one over three to the power of one, one over three, minus one over three to the power of two, plus, and now we can plug in when k is equal to two. One over three squared minus one over three cubed. We'll do one more, k is equal to three. We get one over three cubed minus one over three to the power of four. And then this is going all the way down to n. So we get one over three to the power of n minus one over three to the n plus one. So with the telescoping series, what's happening is that terms are canceling out. So notice here we get minus one over three squared plus one over three squared, minus one over three cubed plus one over three cubed. So all of these terms in between are forever going to cancel out. That's why it's called a telescoping series. So notice our partial sum is actually just equal to one over three, that's one of our leftovers, and our other leftover is minus one over three to the n plus one. Now we can take a look at the infinite series because here the limit as n goes to infinity of our partial sum is equal to the actual infinite series. k equals 1 to infinity of 1 over 3 to the power of k minus 1 over 3 to the k plus 1. And this is equal to, and we can take the limit of our right hand side. The limit as n goes to infinity of 1 third minus 1 over 3 to the n plus 1. This is going to tell us if it diverges or it converges. And notice here as n goes to infinity, this right here is going to get really, really big. So this entire term is going to go to zero. So here we get one third minus zero, which is equal to one third. So since this is equal to an actual value, that tells us that our infinite series converges to this. So that is one example of a telescoping series. We're going to see another one. Sometimes they're not as straightforward like this one right here, and we have to work it out. So I'm going to go ahead and use natural log properties, k equals 1 to infinity. And here what we can do is take the natural log of the numerator and subtract off natural log of the denominator. And notice here you, might, you see that minus, so we might get a telescoping series. So let's take a partial sum. This is going to be equal to, and that's going to be natural log of 2 minus natural log of 1 plus natural log of 3 minus natural log of 2 plus natural log of 4 minus natural log of 3 plus, and then we'll go all the way down to n. So natural log of n plus 1 minus natural log of n. So let's go ahead and see the terms that cancel out. First we have that natural log of 2 minus natural log of 2 cancels out. Natural log of 3 minus natural log of 3. So all of these terms in the middle are going to cancel out until we get to that minus natural log of n. Because natural log of n plus 1, that would be later down the line. So here our partial series is equal to negative natural log of 1, but natural log of 1 is just 0. So here we get natural log of n plus 1. Now let's go ahead and see if this diverges or converges. So here we have our actual series, k equals 1 to infinity, natural log of k plus 1 divided by k is equal to the limit as n goes to infinity of our partial sum, which we can go ahead and take the limit of our little formula for it, so natural log of n plus 1. So as n goes to infinity, natural log of infinity goes to infinity. So that tells us that this diverges to infinity. Even though all of those terms are canceling out in between, the natural log of n plus 1 is just forever going to be getting bigger. And so that means the series is forever getting bigger. Let's try another one. Guess what we're going to have to use in this one? Partial fraction decomposition. So let's go ahead and set it up. We get 1 over k times k plus 1 is equal to some scalar a divided by k plus some scalar b divided by k plus 1. And what we're going to do is multiply this entire equation by k times k plus 1. So on the left-hand side, we get that all of that cancels out, so we're just left with 1. The k cancels out for a, so we're left with k plus 1. And then for b, that k plus 1 cancels, so we're just left with k. So let's go ahead and multiply this out. We get a k plus a plus b k. And here, notice on the left side that we have 0 k's. So 0 k plus 1 is equal to, and here we can combine like terms. So we have a plus b times k plus a. So notice here that we want the left and the right side to be exactly the same. 
So here we have a plus b is need, needs to be equal to zero, right? Because that's how many k's we have, and one has to be equal to a. So that's very nice. That already tells us that one is equal to a. So let's go ahead and plug that in for a plus b is equal to zero. We have one plus b is equal to zero, so b is equal to negative one. And here we can fill that in for our equation. So this is equal to one over k minus one over k plus one. And here we can replace that in our series. So we have the summation k going from one to infinity of one over k minus one over k plus one. And that one looks much more like a telescoping series, right? So let's go ahead and find our partial sum first. I'm gonna plug in k is equal to one. We get one over one minus one over two plus, and you don't need to write the parentheses if you don't like it, 1 over 2 minus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 minus 1 over 4 plus, and we're going all the way down to n. So 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 1. So notice here what's going to cancel. We have minus 1 half plus 1 half cancels out, minus 1 third plus 1 third cancels, and then that minus 1 fourth is going to cancel with a plus in the in, later on, and we also have this 1 over n is also going to cancel out. So what are we left with? We have our little formula for our partial sum is equal to one divided by one equal to one minus one over n plus one. So our actual summation, our actual series, k equals one to infinity, and you can rewrite the original or what we have, one over k times k plus one is gonna be equal to the limit as n goes to infinity of our partial sum. And here we can take the limit as n goes to infinity of its little formula, so one minus one over n plus one. So as n goes to infinity, one over n plus one is gonna to go to zero. So this is approaching one minus zero, which is equal to one. And so this tells us that our series is going to converge to one. Alrighty, we have one more here, so we don't need to manipulate this one at all, but looking at this, it's gonna be a little more complicated than what we're used to. So let's take a large partial sum. So let's plug in k is equal to one, one over the square root of two minus one over the square root of four plus k is equal to two, one over the square root of three, minus one over the square root of five, plus one over the square root of four, minus one over the square root of six, plus, and we're going all the way down to n. But actually, first what I'm gonna do is k is equal to n minus two. So we can really see what's going on here. So here we get one over the square root of n minus one, right, because we have to add one to it, minus one over the square root of n plus one. Now we're gonna plug in k is equal to n minus one, so we get plus, that's gonna be one over the square root of n, minus one over the square root of n plus two. And then finally, let me zoom out, it's gonna take up the whole page. k is gonna be equal to n, that's gonna be our final term of this um, partial sum. So we get one over the square root of n plus one, minus one over the square root of n plus three. So let's go ahead and see what terms cancel out. I have this minus one over root four, plus one over root four, that one over root two doesn't seem to cancel. One over root three doesn't seem to cancel. This one will cancel with one in the future. Same thing with this one, that will also cancel with one in the future. So then on the right side, that tells us that I know these two right here, they're not going to cancel. But I do see some that do cancel. We have one over square root of n plus one is gonna cancel with that. This one will cancel with one in the past. This one also will cancel with one in the past. So here, let's take a look at what we're actually left with. Our partial sum is equal to, we have that one over root two plus one over root three. All the other terms cancel until we get to the end where we have one over the square root of n plus two minus one over the square root of n plus three. So that's what we're working with here. So to find our actual series, we need to take the limit of our partial sum which means we're gonna take the limit as n goes to infinity of our little formula. So I'll go ahead and write that out. So here we have those square root terms. The denominator is gonna get really, really big. The whole term is gonna to go to zero. So here what we're left with is one over root two plus one over root three plus zero plus zero. And so that tells us that our series converges to one over root two plus one over root three. So be careful with some series because not every single term in the middle is going to cancel out. Sometimes you need to draw it out a little bit and find the terms that are remaining. So that's all I have for us today on telescoping series. It is one of the few series that actually tells us what it converges to. A lot of series just tells you if it diverges or converges, but this has an actual value, which is cool. But if you enjoyed this video, I have many more like it, so make sure to check out my playlist. They're linked down below. Otherwise, please give this video a thumbs up and comment other poems or topics you'd like to see done. Thanks for watching.